Now, after completing the iron metabolism, we are moving towards the plasma proteins. And the content will be separation of plasma protein, characteristic of individual plasma protein, proteins of special interest, and the functions of the plasma protein, variation in protein levels, and the gamma globulins. So, the first part of the lecture is the separation of plasma protein and the characteristics of the individual proteins. The chief solid of plasma are the proteins which are about 7 to 9 gram percent. The human plasma protein are a mixture of simple proteins such as albumins and conjugated proteins such as glycoprotein and the lipoprotein. So, human plasma protein, they both they contain both simple proteins as well as conjugated proteins. Separation of plasma protein. Various methods has been used to separate out the individual plasma protein Respiration by the saturated solution. That is the separation of the pro uh, proteins by the saturated solution. And by this you will perform in the lab also this practical that is a separation of identification of albumin and globulin by fully saturated solution or a half saturated solution. By this method different concentration of salt solutions are used to prepare to precipitate the various fractions of proteins which are then separated. Salt solutions which are used for salting out are ammonium sulfate solution which you will perform in the lab. Mixture of the sodium sulfate, sodium sulfide solution by using the salting out techniques. Three proteins have been separated and they are albumin, globulin and fibrinogen. Albumins are, sep uh, sep are precipitated by full saturated solution. I'll explain you what do you mean by the full saturated, the half saturated, one third saturated and the one fifth saturated solution. Globulins are precipitated by half saturated ammonium sulfate solution. U globulins, that is a two globulins, they can be precipitated by one third saturation of ammonium sulfate solution. Pseudoglobulins, false globulins, this globulin fraction can be precipitated by one third saturation of ammonium sulfate solution, whereas a fibrinogen by one fifth saturation of ammonium sulfate solution. Now, what do you mean by the saturation and how the saturated solution is prepared? How to prepare a saturated solution? First is how to prepare a saturated solution. This you must have done the practical in the interscience. That is you take a beaker, suppose 100 ml of water, put a salt solution, it will dissolve. Add more salt, it will dissolve. This is a cold saturated solution. Now you heat the beaker and continue adding the salt unless the sum of the salt remains it will not be dissolved because the solution is fully saturated solution no adding excess of salt it will settle down in the beaker it will not dissolve this is the fully saturated solution now suppose that you have 10 ml of fully saturated solution you take 5 ml of this and add 5 ml of simple water or any test solution you want to add. Now the dilution is double. 5 ml saturated solution, 5 ml distilled water. This will be known as half saturated solution. The total volume will be 10 ml but the amount of the solid present will be half as that of fully saturated solution. Now, how to prepare one third saturated solution? Take 2.5 ml from a fully saturated 10 ml solution and then add 7.5 ml water. 
the total volume will be equal to the 10 m but it will be one third saturated solution since you have taken the 2.5 ml of fully saturated solution. Now how to prepare a one fifth saturated solution? One fifth saturated solution will be when you take 2 ml from the 10 ml and then make the volume up to 10 ml with at 8 ml of uh, distilled water the volume volume the final volume will be 10 ml and this will uh, prepare and this way you prepare the one fifth saturated solution so here you please make a correction you take one third of the uh, 10 ml. You can calculate the volume. This volume is not correct. You calculate the volume 10 divided by 3 and that volume will be <coughs> present here and you make the total volume up to 10 ml with this temperature. In this way you can make the uh, saturated solution. If you want to make one fourth saturated solution then you can take 2.5 ml of water and add 7.5 ml of distilled water. Take 2.5 ml fully saturated solution. Take 7.5 ml of distilled water and make the final volume to 10 ml. But for one third saturated solution, the volume be 3 point something. You can calculate it by the calculator. Divide 10 by 3 and you will get the volume. Take this volume here and then make the volume up to 10 ml with the distilled water. There is an other method for the fractionation of plasma protein by ethanol method. Corn's fractionation method. Since you, it, the uh, process of separation is your least concern, you are not going to uh, be a chemical, uh, a chemist or a biochemist so it is not of your interest that I should explain to you the method that how the by the ethanol the fractionation of the plasma protein takes place. But it is a technique which was used by some scientist Korn and he used various concentrations of alcohol to separate out the protein fractions which contain one protein predominant. Fraction 1, rich in fibrinogen. Fraction 2, rich in gamma globulin. Fraction 3, contain alpha and beta globulin, including agglutinins and prothrombin. Fraction 4, contain alpha and beta globulin. Fraction 5, contain predominantly albumin. There are more recent methods for the separation of protein. Paper electrophoresis, this may be I demonstrate you in the lab. Gel electrophoresis, immunoelectrophoresis, ultracentrifugation, gel filtration, column chromatography. All these are the methods of the protein separation. Maybe in the practical class I will explain you the techniques. But I told you that being a clinician, they are not of your interest. You are simply interested for the uh, proteins which are separated by these techniques. Either it is albumin, globulin, fibrinogen, lipoproteins or whatever the proteins. Characteristics of individual plasma proteins. Albumin. It is a most abundant and homogeneous protein of plasma with a molecular weight of 69,000 altos. Half of the total proteins of plasma is simple protein albumin. <coughs> the protein migrates fastest in electrophoresis at alkaline pH and precipitate last in the salting out or alcohol precipitation method. The protein is precipitated by 
full saturation ammonium sulfate. We are talking about the properties of albumin. That is on electrophoresis, when electric current is applied, protein is there on the gel. Then this protein, it moves very fast. And precipitate last in the salting out or alcohol precipitation method. It consists of single peptide chain, 585 amino acid, 17 disulfide linkages are there, that is between 16 and 16, 17 linkages are there. It is initially synthesized as a pre-protein, pre-proprotein in liver and then at a rate of synthesis is approximately 14 grams per day. And then by the modification, you know that proteins, they are modified. You have already seen in the chapter of genetics that the proteins are modified by the post-translational modification and the signal peptide is removed, right? As it passes through the uh, endoplasmic reticle. Hexapeptide at the resulting amino terminal is cleaved off further along the secretory pathway. So first a signal peptide is removed and then a hexapeptide, six amino acid which are present at the amino terminal are removed and then a proper protein is formed. What are functions of alcohol? It exerts low viscosity, it contributes 70 to 80 percent osmotic pressure. I told you that proteins, they play a role in maintaining the osmotic pressure and they keep the water inside the blood vessels. If the proteins are decreased, they are passed in urine, then what will happen? There is nothing to hold the water inside the plasma, inside the blood vessels. And what will happen? Water will leak into the tissue spaces and edema will result. The third function is that undergoes constant exchange with albumin present in the, that is albumin is present in muscles, in skin, in the intestine and all the three protein, all the three albumins, they are exchanging with one another. Sometimes it is more in the extracellular spaces, sometimes it is more in the skin, sometimes it is more in the intestine and that it's so they are continuously exchanging with one another. It helps in the transport of fatty acids, non esterified fatty acid that is the uh, fatty acids which are not uh, attached to some alcohol, unsaturated fatty acids, so fatty acids, saturated, unsaturated, free fatty acids, they are transported by albumin. Unconjugated blee ribbon, it also combines with albumin. When we'll see the chapter of LFT, then you'll see that how the unconjugated blee ribbon, it combines with the fatty acid. Then it helps in the transport of calcium, it helps in the transport of the steroid hormones. <clears throat> Certain drugs also bind to albumin. Example, sulfonamide drugs, aspirin, penicillin, and are transported to the target tissue. Albumin is delivered to the cells where it is hydrolyzed and cellular proteins are synthesized right so albumin what albumin does it provides the amino acids hydrolysis hoti hai to hame kya milta hai amino acids albumin is delivered to the cell and there the albumin is hydrolyzed and the cellular proteins are synthesized now decrease in albumin concentration Concentration of albumin decreases in severe protein, calorie, malnutrition. That is when you are not taking the essential proteins or the good quality proteins in your diet. So 
the protein will not be available for your body uh, functions. Liver disease, Q, protein kaha banta hai? Liver mein basically banta hai. So liver disease like cirrhosis of liver, albumin synthesis is impaired. Due to the liver disease, the albumin synthesis does not take place properly. Nephrotic syndrome, albumin is lost in urine. And decrease in albumin concentration leads to edema. I have just told you. Albumin, if the albumin is lost in urine like that of kidney patients, what will happen? Nothing will be there to capture the water molecule inside the blood vessels. And the water will sweep in the shoes and this will result in the edema. Edema occurs when total protein fall below about 5 gram and albumin level below approximately 2.5 gram per cent. So, edema occurs, total proteins are decreased. 5 below 5 gram per cent and albumin level 2.5 gram per cent. In the next lecture, we will discuss the globulins.